Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. Am I looking a little bit blue or is there something wrong with my lighting? Is that better? Maybe a little bit. So today I'm following straight on from the last vlog. So we have still got Ruben here, which means we have got another day of shooting here at the house. We shot all the stuff that we like had to shoot, all the kind of branded bits yesterday. So today is more of the wholesome like home content. Charlie is currently downstairs making scrambled eggs um, with Ruben. So there's going to be a little bit of a scrambled eggs tutorial on Old House coming very soon. So any minute now, my phone is going to ring and it will be Charlie saying to come down and have scrambled eggs. So as you can see, I've gone from doing an entire month with um, no heat on my hair to using my Dyson Airwrap three times in one week. But I'm trying to practice it. I'm trying to practice getting good at doing it again. And also, I had not until literally this morning, I've just posted an Instagram reel now, I had not posted anything properly on Instagram, like to my actual grid, this entire year. I hadn't feel, felt inspired, but we've had a couple of shoot days now, so we've got some fresh content, which is great. So I thought I would um, make an effort with my hair so that it looks good in the content that we're going to shoot today. Just very quickly, before I am summoned down <laughs> for some breakfast, I've been majorly influenced by TikTok to get into doing a little bit more uh, kind of rose quartz and I think these are jade actually. Oh no, green, green aventurine. I want to get into learning a little bit more about facial sculpting, facial massage, and it's meant to be so good for contouring and lifting and drainage in your face. So you may have seen at the end of the last vlog that I picked up these two little green aventurine little eye rollers from Bamford yesterday. So I did have a quick look just now on YouTube for a tutorial for these particular kind of like little mini mushrooms. Gosh, they're so cooling. Um, but I couldn't actually see any, so if anyone knows of any tutorials for these, then please let me know. My eye area is probably the area that I have the most desire to depuff and contour. I'm sure you can use these in other areas as well. Um, but yes, that is something that TikTok has influenced me to start getting into. The algorithm is so quick to change. Now my entire TikTok feed is all about using gua sha tools and facial massage. You obviously need a little bit of slip when you are doing the massage. So I have popped on some of my favorite face oil, which is this gorgeous, not focusing, Elemis Superfood Oil. It's a really nice lightweight oil, so if you just want something at the beginning of the day as opposed to a bedtime that your skin will drink in and it'll just give you such a healthy glow throughout the day, then that is a fantastic one. Um, all the superfood benefits in there as well, which are just ultra hydrating and ultra nourishing for the skin. So if my skin absorbs all those lovely ingredients while I'm doing a facial massage, then that is the dream. There's a couple of little pulse points that you can press these onto, but again, I'm kind of just making it up as I go along and I will do, do some more research. So this can sink into my skin while I do my massage and while I have breakfast and then I'll pop some makeup on and we are ready to start shooting. Okay, so that video that I just watched on TikTok while doing that was very useful. It's by a girl called Emmy, E-M-M-Y, I think that's her entire TikTok username. Um, but I've just saved that down and it's a really good video because not only is she showing you how to do it, but she's saying what the benefits are. So apparently by pressing down here, um, I think that helps with like mental clarity. There's the one going up here that helps with blood flow and hair growth. So quite an interesting TikTok, but also, great to be getting all the superfood benefits from the Alamis oil while I do so. So, radiant complexion, here we go. Um, okay, so I can smell <laughs> the toast is being cooked, which means Charlie and Ruben are almost done with their 
scrambled egg filming. So I'm gonna go downstairs for some breakfast and then I will pop some makeup on for our shooting. A little bit of butter. Wow. Really. That's the biggest portion of scrambled eggs I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> we did a big workout, didn't we? We did. Right, my darlings, we are back after a delicious breakfast. I really needed something hearty today. We did a good workout in the gym this morning. It's, um, I didn't go to my usual Pilates today, so, because of the shoot. So, um, it was good to get everything moving in the gym this morning. Okay, the oil has now completely sunk in. My skin has drunk in all of the goodness. So now it's time to pop on some makeup and... This is just the absolute dream, such a treat to use this. It's the new Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Marine Cream. So I know that loads of you guys, so many of us are huge hardcore fans of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream from Elemis. It is actually its 20th anniversary this year. To, so to celebrate, Elemis have launched the Pro Collagen Marine Cream in this gorgeous rose Oh, just the most gorgeous light rose scent, which is so heavenly. I believe this has over 20 varieties of roses within the cream. I mean, oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, it's just, it's not a heavy, heavy rose scent. It is actually incredibly light. And as well as the benefits that we all know and love from the iconic Pro Collagen Marine Creams, which is of course adding the radiance, ultra anti-aging because of the Pro Collagen ingredients, just helping to give you a glowing complexion, evening out any uneven skin tone, all of those benefits which we have seen over the years. Now you get the added benefits of rose, which is not only the heavenly fragrance, but it's just such a treat in the mornings to have that gorgeous, light, fresh, perfect for spring, perfect for this time of year, that heavenly rose scent. But also rose as an ingredient is so soothing. So after a facial massage, after a facial, if you do use active ingredients in the evening, then adding rose into your morning skincare just helps to calm your skin, soothe it. If you do get any areas of redness, then adding rose as an ingredient into your skincare is just so lovely and soothing and heavenly. Oh, so pampering. It's got the exact same texture as the original marine cream, so if you are a huge fan of that, then why not give the rose a go and if you are a lover of rose then of course the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is such a huge favourite of mine. I think this one is a brand new one. Yes it is. I've got one that's nearly finished in the shower at the moment. I actually wouldn't recommend, I was saying this to Chloe the other day, I wouldn't recommend keeping these in the shower because if you get water in it when you are using it then it can make the whole thing go milky because the lovely experience that you get when you use the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm is that you apply it and it is this beautiful really silky soft consistency and then you pop it on the skin, you give yourself a little bit of a massage and obviously it cleanses off all of, all of your makeup and then when you add a little bit of water it goes milky but if you keep it in your shower then it's milky from the word go so just be really careful if you are going to apply it in the shower but that's just uh, heavenly using all of the different rose products from Elemis. I would say the rose range and the superfood range are probably my two favourites. I do have an updated, sorry I'm getting dazzled now by the sunshine, do now have an updated discount code for Elements, so I'll leave all the information for that in the description box down below if you'd like to top up on some of your favourites. I know that Charlie has already used a discount code to top up on the Muscle Bath Soak because it's just such a favourite to pop that in the bath and um, soak for 20 minutes and allow the goodness from the bath soak to really get into your muscles and relax them, it's so heavenly. And then also, Hopefully I've still got some left in my drawer. Yes, I do. The Elemis, excuse my drawer, Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. These are the most effective eye masks and I've tried a lot. I've tried some really expensive ones, but the Elemis ones, if you just, if you've got like 20 minutes in the morning, maybe while your hair is upsetting your curls, then adding the Elemis eye masks on is just an instant way to brighten and open the eye area. So they are another huge favorite of mine. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna pop some makeup on and it's time to get shooting. 
Okay, makeup done. We've done a little bit of filming, applying some makeup, killing two birds with one stone. Now I am going to remove these. They've only been setting and sitting for about an hour, if that. No, actually only about 45 minutes. So, ooh, bit of a tangle going on here. Let's see. By the way, I don't know if you can notice, but I certainly can. I feel like adding the oil to my skin care routine before putting on makeup, it just gives you that glowing from within look that I think is rather wonderful. So, I'm gonna be doing that from now on. Right, whose video am I going to watch while I take these out? Liz Earl. Let's watch a bit of Liz Earl. Let's see if we can get that to work. Hello, Facebook. Okay, my darlings, another hair update that nobody asked for, but we, the thing with the hairstyles that I do, like this and the heatless um, silk sausage, is that you just never know what you're gonna end up with. I know girls that have got gorgeous longer hair than me, they do this and they get like a really beautiful curl down here, but for me, I get like a, a Jane Fonda almost 80s hairstyle. And then I actually love it even more, like two hours later, once it's relaxed a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm just gonna pop on some hairspray and we'll just <laughs> we'll just see how this ends up. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I really want to make some lemon, ginger, peppery hot shots because I bought one you might have seen two or three vlogs ago, I bought one in the Burfa Garden Company and I thought, this is delicious. It made me feel great all day and it, I really felt like healthy and full of goodness after shotting that. So I thought, I'm just gonna make my own. So I did read the ingredients on the back of it and I thought, I'm gonna give it a try. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's a glorious day, so let's go and get juicing. Ruben's under pressure, but I'm learning under he... pressure has promised us some coffee art, so I've requested a sausage dog. It up, right, I really have not, everybody. Please don't <laughs> listen to them. It's a moon. Oh. It's a leaf. That was good. That's <laughs> unbelievable. It's meant to be a heart because it looks like a leaf. Well, that's unbelievable. a leaf with a... Boop. Gorgeous. Look, that's not that, that great. That is, or a pheasant feather. It could be a How plume coming out of an aristocratic hat. <laughs> Spectacular. It's, it's Is there anything you can't do, Ruben? It's, it's not very good, I'm sorry. No, it's <laughs> Well, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Well, there you go. Apple. Okay, that's Gorgeous. a pancake it's a with pancake. a feather. It could be like the galaxy or something. This is maybe the finest modern art we've seen in our time. If Picasso could see this, he'd be... He'd weep. He'd, he'd weep. <laughs> <laughs> So, my lemon and ginger shots, again, remember this is the first time I've made these, so we will just learn together, but these are the shots that I bought from the Burfa Garden Company last week. It is the Agua de Madre Organic Culture Shot. Now this has got, it says on the ingredients, um, water kefir culture, which I do not have, so mine will be kefirless. That sounds marketing BS to me. Oh! Water kefir. Kefir water, yeah, I don't really understand. But anyway, what's going to go in mine is the rest of the ingredients, plus a few little extras. So I'm going to use filtered water, some fresh organic lemons from you know where, ginger, um, I'm going to put in a couple of cloves of garlic just to totally blast away any bugs and illnesses that might get flung at us, and then a few peppercorns as well. So I'm going to start by peeling the lemons, and then we're going to get blending. I've taken the skins of some lemons. How many did I have? One, two, three, four lemons. Don't worry, the skins are not going to go to waste. We've got the kettle boiling. I'm going to make a nice lemon tea, which is going to be wonderful. So I'm going to stick all of these and then I'm going to chop up my ginger. 
So when I've seen people doing this on TikTok, they've actually not peeled the ginger, which is music to my ears because that is one of the most boring jobs in the whole world. So I'm gonna chop this into little nuggets, stick that in the blender too. I'm going to peel three garlic cloves, whack them in, a small handful of peppercorns and some filtered water, and then waz it all up in the blender under Dickie's supervision. You know what, and when you said chop up a ginger, I, I did, it made me worry a little bit. Because of my knife skills? No, because I'm ginger. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever wondered what we listened to while shooting with Ruben, this is it. garlics have started to sprout so these are going to go in the garden and we're going to get entirely new garlic bulbs in a few months time don't touch me now this is unscrewable no balls ball to dash she's still trapping away Goodness. she's still getting tiktok just keeps she's going. going she don't stop girl she don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop, stop. Can't stop me. Around. Right, mate. No, I'm not kicking. No. Dexy! Right, peppercorns. <laughs> okay, talk me through what you're gonna do. I'm gonna pour it into thingy. Into where, love? Into where? Into right there. Right? I think you should get there. Really? Because well, it's really nice, like there. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. You persuaded me. Thank you. Hey, Still lit. Still lit. Squelch. Bruh. Soggy. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so the proper juice that we intended to make is now done. I popped it in one of these bottles, which is hopefully going to keep it fresh, and I will try and consume this within a week, otherwise it won't be fresh anymore. But the remnants are this really delightful um, concoction here of lemon, garlic, ginger, and pepper. And Ruben and I are gonna taste it. <laughs> are you excited? I didn't agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, then. I mean, Look at all the goodness. It smells like, well, oh, flip it out. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> all right, okay. This is going to cure us of all future ailments. Oh, good. All yes. right. Well, with that in mind, cheers. cheers. Am I a bit ambitious with that? I mean, two, 
Check that that's out. That's, quite, that's one big chunk. Quite a load. Come down. I'm trying to put the camera up. No, it's fine. I'm here. I'm at the ready. Ready? Three, two, two one. Not that bad, is it? Are you chewing? I'm chewing. It's not that bad. It's quite hot. It tastes like an extremely bad curry. <laughs> I quite like it. I'm going to put some in my tea. It's, um, it's very interesting. <laughs> I think this might be the cure to all winter flus. Yeah, I, or this or, I don't know. Lemsip. <laughs> Lemsip. I'm it's quite shocked with that. It's a sweet and a savoury, and then you've got a bit of spice at the end. Yeah, it's a bit of pepper. It's quite odd, isn't it? A bit of pepper. Right, we need to try the actual juice yeah. now. All right, well, I'm hoping the juice is um, a bit better. Well, let's give it a swirly bobs. I'll drink anything. No, I'm really. <laughs> let's give it a try. Come on. Should we pour some for the actual video? Yes, please. That would be really helpful. Wonderful. Just a little... If, if anyone's wondering, that's actually what I'm doing here. You know, I'm not just some <laughs> not random just bloke. Not just providing laughs. <laughs> not just a crease up. Right. Go for it. Very for cheap, cheap laughs, hire me, Rubeth Mall. I think that's probably sufficient. Excellent. Are you going to try some? Yes, I will, yeah, thank you. Much better than Charlie at trying my concoctions. I'll give some honest feedback. Please. And then you can cut it out of the video. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go, all right. I think you should go first. I want to see your reaction before. Hello, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. To good health. To good health. Let me see what you think. Delightful. It's, good. it's got a nice aroma. Got some Gregorian chant in the background. Right, let's go get this car working. Mm. Wow. Next you know time what? a bit more lemon and ginger, a bit less garlic. That's got an incredible that yeah. kick at the end, you know. Mm. That's really That's interesting. Pepper. Yeah, that pepper actually adds something a bit unique oh. to it. You should give it a go, old boy. Come on, old boy. Come on. I'll try the, I'll try the liquid stuff, yeah. Come on. Mm. Come Here on. we go. Here we go. You can imagine if you were ill, you would really want this. Yeah. Cheers to a... Uh, Fantastic weekend. That's quite good, actually. Mm. That is actually quite good. I'd say there's probably slightly too much garlic in there. Mm. Yeah. It reminds me of the time I drank fairy liquid. <laughs> So that little time lapse that you just saw was the creation of this herb soda bread. Again, something I've not tried before, but found a recipe that looked rather delicious. So we're actually going to pop out and film some bits in the car and gonna leave this in the oven for only 35 minutes so it doesn't take too long to bake and hopefully it should be rather scrumptious. Okay, we are heading out in the car. We're gonna get some foliage from the hedgerows so I can do, oh, here he is. <laughs> I'm in. He's in! Sorry, we're gonna get some going. foliage from the hedgerows so that we can make a nice floral centerpiece to have in the house over the weekend. Is it comfy back there, Rubes? It's, getting, it's very nice back here, yeah. A lovely, little bit of an um, update since you're last in here? Yeah, no, it's, it's much comfier. Jolly good. The what? The ambiance? Ambiance. Mm, and the smell of oil. Yes, Quite it's delightful, isn't it? Lovely. Yes. Quite. New Tom Ford fragrance, here we come. New wooden steering wheel. New, newly coated item. I think we've even got some kind of boombox. Maybe. What a legend. We've had enough of this one. We're leaving him by the side of the road. Right, where are we going? You what? You what? You're horrible. A lot of <laughs> Drive backwards 100 meters. Well, my darlings, shooting is finally done. As you might have been able to tell from those last few clips, which no doubt will have been a little bit manic, we just had such a laugh. Ruben is just one of the most ridiculous people in the whole world. And we just, I mean, we were singing, we were, I just, I just going completely bonkers. I think sometimes when you shoot, quite a lot in concession as well. Other influencers, maybe you can agree to this. You just kind of lose your mind a little bit and go a bit loopy. But we had the best couple of days and Ruben is an absolute magician when it comes to videography. So I can't wait to see the edits. And we sent the drone up. We got some gorgeous, very, very wholesome shots. He's now heading home. He actually lives on the Isle of Wight. And I am heading 
for an exceptionally exciting appointment. I actually cannot believe this, but Teresa Tami, and if you guys have not heard of Teresa Tame, I have followed her on Instagram for a very long time. She is a super facialist and I was gonna say top London facialist, but one of the UK's top, if not the world's top facialists. And she has moved to a village 10 minutes away from me. How blooming lucky is that? I can't, I can't believe it. When I saw my Pilates instructor Chloe, she posted a story saying, I just had the most amazing facial with Teresa Tame in Long Compton. I was like, no, what is she doing here? So I can't believe it. So of course, as soon as I found that out, I booked myself in and I'm going to meet her for the first time now. So excited. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think this might just be a, a cleanse and just a skincare discussion, but yes. I'm so excited, so let's get going. Okay, this is amazing. Very unlike Teresa's London clinic, which I think is in Notting Hill. This one is quite literally in a barn in the middle of a field, but luckily when you make an appointment, she sends very clear instructions on how to find it. Gosh, what an amazing experience. So we're on the top floor of the barn and we've got all of Teresa's various machines here, Dharma Lux, so many different pieces and look at this view, oh my goodness, how spectacular. Facial in a field. <laughs> Okay, my darlings, coming back to you from home again after the most incredible experience with Teresa. We have officially coined it the facial in a field. I am looking a little bit red and splotchy because I have just experienced for the first time ever a professional micro needling treatment. So I didn't know what we were going to be doing today. This was my first time meeting Teresa and what she likes to do is, sorry, I'm just trying to look for a hairbrush. Don't seem to have one. What she likes to do is obviously cleanse the skin and analyze what your skin needs. So we did quite a bit of extraction. We did um, a light peel and I don't want to touch my face. And then we did micro needling. I say we, it was all Teresa. She has all the most incredible high super technology advanced machines. We had um, red light, LED therapy after the micro needling, so my skin should be glowing over the next few weeks or so. So Teresa is there, um, she actually moved nearby back in October and where she currently is, this amazing barn in the middle of the field, she's there for another five weeks, so not that long. However, she's currently looking at a few options for a permanent base around here. I think she said for Thursdays, Fridays and the occasional weekends, but then she's obviously got her iconic base in Notting Hill. I just can't believe that such an incredible facialist is now on my doorstep. I feel very, very, very fortunate to have her nearby and great timing before our wedding as well. And she's just so lovely, such a lovely lady. We were just chatting the entire time. Normally with facials, I like to kind of just switch off and zen out, but there are two types of facials and I love both types, but there's the relaxing type and then there's the let's really sort out your skin type and this was definitely the latter but we had a great chat we were talking about everything from social media to local pubs in the nearby area and everything in between and of course she's just so knowledgeable when it comes to skincare and skin and beauty and was giving me so many tips and she was saying one area in particular that people often forget to put their spf is here and she was saying it's almost more important to put your spf on your neck and on your decollete area because the skin there is so thin so that is something that I really need to do moving forward. But anyway, I have just pinned my hair up again and we are now heading over to Rory and Nathan's house for dinner. I think Nathan will probably be cooking and I don't know what's on the menu, but I'm peckish. So let's get going. Good morning, my darlings. It is a London day today. It's currently 7.45 in the morning and I've just got to our local train station, getting the train into town today. I haven't been into London in a long time. Have I even been into London this year yet? I don't know if I have. This might be my first London day of the year. 
have I? I don't know, I can't remember. But easing back into London days gradually, I have got a meeting first thing and then I'm going to the new townhouse nail place on Kings Road for a manicure. If you're thinking, Josie, didn't you literally just do your nails in the last video? I actually filmed the parts of that video, the morning part of that video, like a week before it went live <laughs> because the brand had to approve um, a section of the video. So this manicurist manicure has actually been on my nails for nearly two weeks, which is amazing. And it only started to chip yesterday and I've been doing the washing up, I've been gardening. So very, very impressed, but also at the same time, very much looking forward to having a professional manicure done today. I put some heatless curls in my hair last night, had an evening shower last night and put heatless curls in slept in them so they're very very ringlety at the moment but i will brush them out when i am about to head into my first meeting so that they don't drop too much and this is far too much information it's very frosty and very misty this morning but it was a beautiful drive and i figured out how to get my car to heat up before i get into it i tried it last week but i set the timer wrong and i thought it was just a case of pressing go but actually it's even more clever especially if you commute every day say for example you leave your house at 7 15 every morning you actually set your car so that at 7 15 it's at your chosen temperature it's not a case of being like okay start turning on now it will monitor how cold it is outside how cold it is in the car so i set mine to be at 20 degrees inside the car at 7 15 this morning which is when i thought i'd be getting in and i got into a nice warm car i didn't have to defrost the windscreen which was amazing so that was the result yeah it's meant to be sunny later on in london so fingers crossed i've got my laptop with me because i have got a little oh and then in the afternoon might do a little bit of shopping on king's road because i haven't been to that area in ages and then um i've got i think it's a lymphatic body massage with cerave at 180 strand which is one of the new soho houses so yes it's gonna be a lovely day one meeting and two pamperings with some shopping in between so let's go Soho. First meeting is here at Dean Street Townhouse. Have not been in here for years, so I'm looking forward to a nice hearty breakfast. Okay, first meeting of the day done. I've actually got half an hour that I wasn't expecting to have, so I thought I would do a little bit of shopping on Regent Street, or really just walking up and down Regent Street. It is such a beautiful street architecturally. Look at that building, absolutely stunning on a crisp blue sky day. So I think I'm going to work my way up towards Oxford Street. Quite a few new businesses here since I was last in this neck of the woods. So the first place that I'm going to pop into is the new-ish, new Gymshark store. The first time I've been in here, which is quite scandalous considering the CEO is <laughs> and his wife are some of our very best friends. But I have seen a lot of amazing things about this new store. So let's go and check it out. hydration such nice colors and the little smoothie and coffee cups oh my gosh they're so cute I'm gonna need one of these microfiber sweat towel love it okay this is amazing so you can actually join events here they've got a whole host of different workout classes strength classes all bookable on the app such a good idea. This is amazing. There's a full-on hit studio right here in the back of the store. Such a good idea. I love how different the decor is in here. They've got the weights as this kind of light feature and the mannequins are all different sizes. They've got mannequins doing different exercises. All very well thought out. Got my goodies and now it's time to go and get my nails done. 
Okay, maybe a tiny bit biased for obvious reasons, but that was such a nice shopping experience. The staff in there were all so friendly and helpful, which I just don't really expect from like a workout store. And yeah, amazing shopping experience. And they even have a Joe and the Juice inside the uh, shop, as well as a studio where you can do the classes, which sound amazing. So I'm definitely gonna book myself in next time. They even have showers and changing rooms. Well done, Gymshark team. Epic, epic shop. So, made it. This is my next stop, the new townhouse nail salon on Kings Road. It looks really beautiful, and it's right next to this place called Farm Fetch. You can take a girl out of the Cotswolds. Looks like a really nice place to get a coffee, so I might just nip in here for a pre-manicure cappuccino. the perfect valentine's nail so an hour later and i have got the perfect french manicure i haven't had a french mani in so long but i saw something on instagram that really inspired me to ask for this we've got french just with these two little hearts on two of my fingers i think it's so classic and pretty so this is at the new townhouse on king's road they've done such a good job the attention to nail prep detail that they go into here is so amazing very very happy with this I've just popped down to Duke of York Square. This is always my favourite Zara. I find they always have the best bits in here, so I'm going to have a little investigation. It's been ages since I went into an actual Zara store. So cosy. This would be such a gorgeous work dress. I feel like you could tell someone that this is Amelia Wickstead or something, and they would definitely believe you. So pretty. Very classic white knitted dress with this cute little bow at the back. I don't need it, but it's rather cute. Zara lingerie. I feel like this is new. Cute little area. Look at this. Some beautiful silk pajamas. My gosh. Love them. Pretty good price as well. £35. That quality actually feels really beautiful good mirror for a little outfit of the day. I have got on my Dior Vista Village coat and my And Other Stories white jumper dress and then these Reese heels which are a little bit high for walking around London all day but there we go and then I've bought out my Prada tote bag again big enough for my laptop and all of my bits and bobs that I need for the day. Another classic set of white silky PJs. These are really lovely really nice quality if you want to wear a silk shirt out and about as well as in bed this would be a really nice one I just love their homeware look at this gorgeous blanket and these boots stunning I've just popped into Ottolenghi I was drawn by this incredible display in the window I thought I would grab a nice healthy box of salad or something for lunch. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. which has got the Soho house upstairs, a kind of Soho house works office space downstairs. And here on level three, it's called the 180 Health Club. There are fitness rooms, there are treatment rooms, one of which I'm in now. It's such an amazing space. It's literally so beautiful. I could happily move in here. And I'm gonna have a 45 minute lymphatic drainage massage using some of the CeraVe body products, which I'm so excited about. They are so hydrating. And I just said to the girls, my legs are practically scaly <laughs> right now. I'm sorry, that was not a nice thought, but from the sun exposure a couple of weeks ago, I feel like this is exactly what my body needs right now. <laughs>
darlings made it back home. I'm actually really impressed with how my curls have lasted today. This was heatless curls. Did you see me taking them out of the silk sausage in the car this morning? Maybe, but they have lasted very, very well. Um, I think the secret in which case is to sleep in them because yes, I had these in all night last night on damp hair. Sorry, just wanted to change the camera settings. But I'm back home again, Charlie's upstairs running a bath and we are gonna have an early night. It's 8 p.m., can't wait to get into bed super early tonight. I find days in London just tie me out a little bit. My um, treatment at 180 was just heavenly. It's such a cool location there. And the lady was using a deep, super moisturizing product from CeraVe's body range, which is just absolutely gorgeous. She had to put on three layers of body lotion because my skin was just drinking it in. It is so dehydrated. And I actually have some here to try at home. Um, so this is the soothing cream. Ooh, I don't know if this is what she used actually for exfoliating, softening and smoothing rough skin with the ceramides. So I, th I think this might be a shower product. I've got their smoothing cleanser. This has got three essential ceramides, salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid. I use a CeraVe micellar water very regularly. It's the one that I've got at the moment in my bathroom. And for an affordable cleanser, they are so, so gorgeous. And this one I really like to have in the shower because it's so easy to pump out. How fabulous are these flowers, by the way? These arrived today from a company called Ronnie Colby. So many beautiful blooms. You've got, they almost look like digitalis, but I feel like it's too early for digitalis. Some roses, there's even some pussy willow in there. A really gorgeous, very seasonal, se seasonable, seasonal bunch of flowers. And I also had a meeting this morning with Beauty Pie. So I've got a few of their new launches here. I might actually use these. Ooh, yes, tonight. So they have released a range of cryo, what do you call it, um, massage tools. Oh my gosh, I need to watch a video to learn how to do this properly. I got a set of these from Amazon not that long ago, but the quality, these, ooh, they've got liquid in them. Maybe you can put them in the fridge. The quality of these, and they've even got this little kind of pink silicone at the bottom. So yes, I need to learn how to use these. And they've come in a set with Japan Fusion Genius Lift Elixir. So maybe you put this on your face and then you use the um, tools. I'm intrigued, I need to, need to learn more about this. But this is the Japan Fusion Ultra Firming Cryotherapy Set. Love the sound of that. And because they're from Beauty Pie, they'll be a good price. Um, Uber Youth, ooh, complexion overhaul ampules with retinoid, absorbic, ascorbic acid, zinc, and copper gluconate. I don't know what those ingredients are, but I do love ampules, and I feel like they are such targeted little intense doses of skincare. I always find they make such an amazing difference to my skin. So maybe, what's this, like a seven day, 10 day overhaul for your skin. So maybe when could I do this? If I've got, if I get like a work event coming up or something, maybe I'll do this in the lead up. It's definitely like pre special occasion skincare. Loads more new bits in there. Something new from the Youth Bomb range. Double Retinal Action Overhaul Serum. This sounds amazing. Made in Switzerland, applied to a well cleansed face. I feel like this is an underrated range within a beauty pie. The Youth Bomb Serum is, for me, very similar to a very expensive La Prairie Serum that I used to have. And this is something that I could apply in the evenings. Slow release bioavailable multi action retinoid and AHA formula. Let's see. So it is. Ooh. Oh my gosh. A very lightweight serum. Obviously, I don't want to put any on my face right now because I haven't cleansed yet. But love that there's a new addition to the Youth Bomb range. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they did this. Smooth Ahead. This is a lip scrub with organic sugar cane crystals. Now this, oh, I love this packaging. Very cute little, it's almost quite like Glossier-esque. Little pink tub with the sugar down here. 
It is a little bit gross when you use these because you're meant to scrub your lips and then like lick it. But I do get quite dry lips, so I feel like this will be a really nice pamper. Mm. Mm. And then it just tastes nice afterwards. <laughs> Probably not good for me to have sugar before bed. Never mind. And then it almost leaves your palm on your lips. And then last but not least, I'll quickly show you what I picked up in Gymshark. So I grabbed this water bottle because it's absolutely ginormous. And I've been taking my lovely little ocean bottles into the gym and it's not quite enough. So I think I will take this in when I'm doing my workouts here at home because then it is loads of water and it'll keep me hydrated. I also, oh no. <laughs> I got a tahini dressing with my Ottolenghi salad and it has spilt over the socks, but never mind, I'll give them a wash. These are just, they're firstly, a really nice selection of colours, lovely pastels, and they are the most gorgeously thick socks. I don't know if you can really see, but they're really nice and thick. So these will be fantastic in my wellies and in my, to be honest, I've been wearing my Chloe boots like on the January sale so much lately. So these will be perfect in boot socks. Oh, I think everything's gonna need washing because of my salad spillage. I got these leggings in a dark green color because I'm obsessed with dark green leggings. They had these on a mannequin and they looked amazing and the color is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I might have seen Robin wearing these ones before as well, so thought they would be a nice addition. And then, it doesn't look like, oh yeah, I did get salad on these as well. What, oh, what an idiot, why did I put that in there? That looks disgusting. Well, this like, so oh god, <laughs> oh my god, I've got stains on both sides of them, what an idiot, I'm sure it'll wash clean, but this lovely kind of deep salmon-y coloured pair of leggings, which I thought as we go into spring and summer, it's a colour that I don't have in my collection, and again, they just looked super high-waisted and super flattering. So you can actually get free Mirabeau in the townhouse nail salons which i think is just such such a lovely treat and never one to say no to a free rosé i was like can you just not open it yet and i'll enjoy it when i get home so i have this lovely belle anne uh, can of pale rosé from mirabeau what a treat and then here is the offending tahini dressing which needs to go in the fridge so there we go, a little haul from my London day. Gosh, it's now 10 past eight, it is approaching my bedtime. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, darlings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed coming to London with me today and I will see you very soon in the next one. If you got to the end of the video, please do take a moment to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.